If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. When a customer agrees to make a purchase for which payment will be made at a later point in time, you enter the sale into an invoice. The invoice lists the customer's information along with an itemized list of how much that customer owes for the goods or services purchased. To create an invoice, select Customers, Create Invoices from the menu bar. The particular invoice form used for the transaction can be changed by using the template drop-down in the upper right corner of the invoice form to select the particular type of invoice to use for the transaction. Enter customer information into the sales forms either by using the Customer Job drop-down to select a customer already entered into the customer list or by typing the customer's information directly into the bill to and ship to fields in the form. If you select a customer from the drop-down list, their information will automatically populate the fields in the form. You will need to specify additional information if manually entering customer data, such as selecting the desired sales terms from the Terms drop-down and specifying a sales tax code and sales tax rate to apply from the Customer Tax Code and Tax drop-downs at the bottom of the form, for example. After entering the customer information, select the Invoice Date from the Date field. The Invoice Number field will automatically increment itself up to the next available invoice number. At the bottom of the invoice, enter each item purchased on its own line by selecting a choice from the Item column in the first available row within the line item area. The items that are shown in the drop-down list that appears are contained within the item list. In QuickBooks, line items are used for goods and services as well as discounts, subtotals, and sales tax lines, among others. For each line item, specify the quantity and rate, or the amount, by using either the quantity and rate fields, or by entering a total amount for the line item into the amount field. If specifying a quantity and rate, the amount is calculated automatically. If this invoice is to be printed later, ensure that the Print Later checkbox in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window is checked. When finished, click the Save and Close button to save the invoice and close the window, or click the Save and New button to save the invoice and leave the window open so you can continue creating invoices. Also, starting in QuickBooks 2019, you can click the See History link that appears next to the invoice title within Saved Invoices to show a small invoice history window. The invoice history window shows the history of the invoice, such as when it was created, viewed, sent, paid, and deposited. After creating an invoice, QuickBooks places a record for the invoice into the Accounts Receivable account. If creating a sales receipt instead, the amount received is typically placed into the undeposited funds account. Note that you can see how much is listed within either one of these accounts by simply opening the chart of accounts. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.